everyone, I hope you're doing well. I'd like to give an update video on the Cult Fleet Science portfolio companies, what's been happening over the last number of weeks. I have slowed down in my video posting. The main reason for that is I've run out of money for this project, so I've started working full time. Probably to start, I'm going to be posting around, let's say, twice a month, once every two weeks. I do want to get up to a schedule that is regular, which would be once a week. I'm not sure when that will happen exactly, but that is my goal. So with that, let's get into the updates. Have you tried this honey? It kicks ass. First off, we have Melody. They're releasing honey made with habanero peppers. Again, if you haven't tried their honey, I really urge you to do so. That's one of the products that for me really solidified the potential of what some of these new plant-based and precision fermentation products can actually taste like. Palia, who we've talked about before, they're a cell cultured milk company based in Canada, in Montreal. They've just raised $2 million to continue development of their product. Cult Food Science did a $250,000 investment back in December 2021 when they raised their seed round and they're now raising another 2 million seed round. This isn't a series A so I would expect that we still don't have a valuation for the company. If they do decide to raise a larger sum I would expect more than 2 million dollars. Probably in the low tens of millions of dollars. We have to see this little investment to keep them going so great news for them. Then we have Umami Bioworks has merged with Shiok Meats. Now, we've talked about Shiok Meats before. They were in the news where they weren't doing so great about a year ago. They lost about half of their team. They were an agronomics portfolio company. Agronomics wrote down the company because it just didn't seem like they were going anywhere. Well, they've now are being merged into Umami Bioworks, which is a cult food science portfolio company. Agronomics, who had written off their investment back in 2022, they now own 0.71% of Omami Bauer. Cult food science owns probably about 1.2% of the company, at least in terms of that initial seed funding round that was done. That position will be diluted a bit. The Umami Bioworks founder and CEO will lead the company post-merger. The merger is a stock deal that will see Umami Bioworks acquire all of Shiok Meat's assets, though it hasn't been disclosed what the transaction amount is. While some employees will join Umami Bioworks, the CEO will leave the company six years after founding it. So this is pretty interesting because we're starting to see, right, we have over 100 cultivated meat companies. We're starting to see them consolidate. Back in October of last year, there was a report by a finance house talking about how they're predicting a similar shakeup to what was seen in the plant-based meat sector with consolidation amongst the largest players most likely. A small proportion of companies have raised most of the funding. Upside Foods has raised 21% of the global total. The top five companies in the industry Upside Foods Believer Meats, Wild Type, Alif Farms, and Mosa Meat are responsible for 46.9% of the funds for cultivated meat. 68% of the total funding has been raised by cultivated meat companies, so that would be like chicken, beef, pork. Of the remaining 32%, 17% are seafood producers, so Umami Bioworks. 11% are developing ingredients, and 4% are cultivated pet food companies. Mommy Bioworks seems to be doing pretty well. This acquisition of Shiok Meats is going to give them a few other products. So Shiok Meats claims to be the first cell agriculture company to do research on shrimp, crab, and lobster crustaceans. Shiok Meats owns Gaia Foods, and their first product was cell-cultured beef slices, in Southeast Asia, at least, it seems like Umami Bioworks right now is one of the more interesting players. So it'll be interesting to see how all of this shakes out. Great news that these companies are still going. Uh, we've seen a little bit of movement. We're starting to see some of this consolidation in the industry and probably will see that play out this year or next year. Thanks as always for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.